With advancements in 3D printing, forget drawing on a flat space. There's a new 3D pen that actually lets you create objects in space. The Wall Street Journal's Ramian Asensio has more on this Hong Kong startup. This is the 3D Doodler. Think of it as a cross between a pen and a hot glue gun that doesn't write in two dimensions, but builds in three. Its global HQ is here at this tiny office, fit for a startup in the heart of Hong Kong. Just eight employees run a growing global operation that's only two years old. Everything else is on display at Hong Kong. British transplant to Hong Kong, Daniel Cohen is co-founder. It's very cool, and it's also a lot of fun. I mean, it's the world's first 3D printing pen. It's the first time you'd be able to take a pen, lift it off the paper, and create real objects in 3D. Like Paris's Eiffel Tower, in your choice of color, or Hong Kong's iconic Bank of China, or... Starting with little legs, a body, head, tail, and mane, a 3D horsey for the Chinese year of the horse, of course. What you do is you put the plastic filament in the back of the pen. Then it's gripped by a gear system and fed down the pen into the heater unit where the plastic is melted, and then it's forced out the nozzle. What if you could draw things exactly as you imagine them? Cohen says development happened fast, starting only in late 2012 with a prototype. In 2013, they launched a Kickstarter program and money poured in. $2.3 million in one month. To date, Cohen says 50,000 pens have been manufactured. At $99 each, that's worth nearly $5 million. But besides 3D printing fans, would regular consumers care to buy? Well, we see this going all the way through to consumer, um, consumer kind of arts, crafts and hobby groups. Uh, into education as well. So we've had a lot of inquiries from schools, even universe. teachers for the blind, where they want to use this to create tactile learning aids immediately in their classrooms. We've got architects and engineers trialing it as well. And Hong Kong, known more as an Asian hub of finance, is seeing a spark for startups because... When you're in hardware and you need to be near to China or near the manufacturing hub, it's a great place to be. You know, within hours, we can go from Hong Kong, where we're working on design and prototyping, up to the factory where we might be sampling something and be back in Hong Kong. All right, and now it's my turn. I'm gonna try my hand to uh, do a little 3D doodle. Oh, that's a lot. Did I spell it right? <laughs> there you have it. This is Digits.